Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's April 2021 and we've got a new autopilot mode in the FA-18C Hornet. It's coupled mode. This is a really interesting mode. It allows you to completely automate various parts of your navigation, allowing you to focus on other things. So let's show it to its limits. For role play purposes, I've got to get to that target there, but I've got to go via these waypoints to avoid AAA. I'm going to be busy reading my newspaper, so I want my plane to fly automatically between those waypoints. Between 4 and 5, I'm going to set up my weaponry to bomb on top of waypoint 5. I can't really be bothered to aim my aircraft at the ASL azimuth steering line that will be created when we waypoint designate waypoint 5. So I'm going to ask the coupled autopilot mode to fly me to there as well. And when we're off target, I'm going to have the autopilot mode take me off on an exit vector as well. And then I want to go and land at Kutaisi along a certain radial. It's far too much effort, so I'm going to get the coupled autopilot to do that as well. So the coupled autopilot mode will navigate me through all of the waypoints. It will navigate me to the target and essentially drop the bomb. It will navigate me safely away from the target and then it will take me to the airfield and it will seek a TACAN station to get to the airfield on a certain radial. Basically, the plane is going to entirely fly itself. To get onto the radial, we've got the destination Takan Station, Channel 44 X-ray at Kutaisi, and the runway radial is going to be 254 minus uh, 6. It's about 248 magnetic. So, let's go and get our newspaper ready. Okay, in the cockpit now. First thing we're going to do is press the Tango key for automatic throttle control. And I'm going to put autopilot barometric altitude hold on you can see my controls in the bottom there I'm not going to touch the stick or the throttle once during this bombing mission next what we're going to do is get our HSI up I'm going to use this screen here because I don't, I don't like the bottom one HSI I'm going to select waypoint one to begin the sequence of uh, waypoints I'm going to go to auto to say that I want them to be uh, sequenced and up on the UFC in the autopilot section I want to couple those waypoints there we go. It's now going to fly that sequence of waypoints. We can see in the HUD it's couple mode and the type of navigation point is a waypoint. You can see ATC is on here and we're first reversing to waypoint 1. In the HSI you can see that we're coupled here and we have a true speed of 358 knots, a ground speed of 359 knots and we're coupled to a waypoint and we're coupled to that waypoint there. Now, because we've got lots of time to burn and no flying to do, we're going to set our weaponry up next. Mark A4. Uh, we're going to drop it in auto mode. We're going to use a mechanical fuse of nose. We're going to use an electronic fuse of instant. That's done. What else can we get on with? Okay, after our bomb has dropped, the aircraft would like to know the escape vector. So we're going to program that in now as well. Push and hold heading here until heading select comes up. Press heading select there. Type in a vector of, let's think, uh, east, so say so 1, 0, 0, enter. We've now put into memory the heading select, and it's going to use that when it gets off target. Look, no hands. It's driving through the waypoints. That's pretty much everything set up as far as we can go. What we can do now is just uh, zoom that in a bit. It's going to traverse these waypoints for me. I'm not touching the stick, not touching the throttle. Waypoint 3 we're on the way to now. Waypoint 4 we're on the way to now. Finally, waypoint 5. I'm going to speed it up a bit so it's at least pointing in roughly the right direction before we do the handover to the bombing, which we're going to do now. So we are going to designate waypoint 5. We've already got waypoint 5 selected. We're going to waypoint designate. So we're going to go to air to ground mode. We're going to go to autopilot, we're going to couple, and we're going to go back to HSI just to show what's going on. I'll just pause here. By selecting a target and going to air-to-ground mode, we've decoupled from the waypoint, but we've then recoupled to our active navigation method, which was now this line, an azimuth steering line, which comes as part of the auto bombing mode. You can see now that we are coupled to an azimuth steering mode, ATC is still on, and here that we are also coupled to an azimuth steering line. So I'm pause. It's going to do all the flying for us. All we've got to remember to do is push and hold the weapon release button at about seven seconds for the bomb to drop. It will then fly us off to safety. So 
push and hold the weapon release button. Let's hope I get that bit right, otherwise it would be very embarrassing for me. And it's off. It's now going to take me off to a safety or escape vector of 100 that I've programmed in earlier. And it's going to sit and happily fly me along there. Let's go and watch the bomber. Now this is all done by super clever computer stuff in the background, so it should be very accurate. That is a very accurate bomb. We essentially hit the tank there, which is great. So, next we're going to undesignate our target because we don't want to be coupled to that target anymore. Uh, there we go. We have uh, killed our target designation. Next, we want to go and land. Otherwise, it's just going to carry on on this uh, heading select course. So, we're going to program in a TACAN or 44 X ray, and we're going to go TACAN, transmit receive, X ray band, 44, enter, on, select it in the HSI. And we're going to go to autopilot and couple it up. Uh, you notice I pressed it and it didn't work. That's because I'm going to deselect heading select, which takes priority. So, remove heading and select, left barometric altitude on, and now it's uh, it's coupled. It's coupled, as you can see here, to a TACAN station, and you can see here it's TACAN to a, uh, it, sorry, it's coupled to TACAN station, and the TACAN station is Morse code identifier KTS Kutesi at 8.6 miles. And now I want to set up the course. I've got to do this earlier, but I can still do it now. So press and hold the course button. It's going to go a bit funny because, well, you'll see. Uh, select the course of 248, I think it was magnetic. Enter. Not only now is it going to take me to Takan or for X ray, it's going to take me on the radial of the course that we've just selected. And I can just speed up so we don't have to wait so long. And look at that. In we go on radial to the runway. All I'd have to do at that point is push the stick forward so that the aeroplane goes down. So that is an entire bombing mission completely automated apart from one button press of the weapon release button. If you are lazy, this is the aircraft for you. I hope that was useful and see you later.